Hey guys, it's your boy DJ Reminis back with another tutorial. And today I'm gonna to show you guys what I use in my master bus to make sure the whole mix gels nice and sounds good. Okay, so first things first, what we're gonna do is on the master bus right here, and this will work on any software, I typically add a compressor. And what I do with this compressor is lightly, gently across the whole mix, uh, let it just kiss the needles. That way it makes all the sounds, all the transitions, all the songs, you know, gel together really nice. And what I typically do is on this particular compressor is I'll leave the release on auto. And depending on the mix now, on the tempo, you will adjust your attack as per how you like it. This is a fairly fast tempo track, so I'll have a really, really quick sort of an attack. Um, probably somewhere around there to start off with. And the ratio you can leave two to one. Again, this is just to make sure that everything gels really nice. So let's have a listen to this and we'll adjust it as per uh, required. Okay, so I'm just gonna adjust this somewhere, so it's lightly hitting, you know, a couple of dB, somewhere in there. I don't know, that's not too bad. So after I've added the compressor, the next thing I'm gonna do is add a limiter. Now this is gonna make sure we don't peak. Now again, the trick here is, we just want to knock off a few dB. Nothing is worse than hearing these mixtapes that are super loud, but the sound distorted. So again, I'm going to watch my needles and adjust as per required. I think somewhere in there sounds pretty good. You probably noticed the volume as it went up. I'm going to do the before and after on these so you hear the difference. So I'm going to play this back without the limiter, without the compressor, and I'll put them in one at a time so you hear what they're doing. So this is um, without the compressor, and this is with the compressor. And now with the limiter. And without the limiter. So as you can tell, just with a couple of basic things with a compressor and limiter, you've already changed um, the total output of your mix and made it gel really nice. Now you can also add an EQ as well to maybe you know clean out some of the frequencies that you don't like on an overall basis. I typically may add an EQ, maybe boost around 3K. That's that secret radio frequency. But on this one, I didn't really need it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Please like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel that we stay up to date with the latest guns information. I'm your boy DJ Reminis. Peace out.